bait. Hey everybody, we're here at Carolina Bully Farms and uh, I've got two fat right here really with me and the country's here too. And um, I'm not really sure what the two fat's going for here on my face, but the reason I'm here today is I was gonna talk about, <laughs> what do you smell, buddy? I was gonna talk about inbreeding dogs. Now first, let me start off. Uh, people, a lot of people ask me, is inbreeding dogs safe? Is it bad to inbreed? Um, a lot of people get worried when they find out some of our dogs are inbred, which they are, if you didn't know that. Too Fat is off of Mo Mungy bred to his dogger. Uh, Big Country is more of an outcross, but he's inbred. Uh, any purebred dog is inbred if you look back in their pedigree. So that goes for Yorkies, uh, Boxers, any any real breed dog that's a purebred dog is going to be inbred. I know a lot of people's going to get mad about what I say, and uh, everyone's going to want to give their opinion on it. Don't do that. I'm just going to delete it. I know a lot of people are still going to do it, but I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to delete your comment. That being said, this is just what my opinion is on it. A lot of people want my opinion, so I'm just going to put it out there. And if you don't agree with it, please be respectful about it and don't say anything because I don't say anything on y'all's. Uh, Too Fat here is inbred. Um, a lot of our dogs are inbred. And basically, inbreeding is just to lock in a look. Like with, uh, with Mo Money, we started out with him for our bloodline. And uh, we wanted to create more dogs that look like Mo Mungie. Obviously, throwing in a lot of other bloodlines that aren't Mo Mungie is just going to create a watered-down mixture of all those bloodlines. So, when you're inbreeding, you have to be smarter, right? Because it can create flaws, it can create health issues, you can create bad feet, underbites, kink tails, and that's the minor stuff. The bad stuff is when you get into, uh, you know, having heart, heart issues numbers. or, uh, you know, kidney and liver problems or cleft palate. So you don't want to see a puppy born with a cleft palate and know right there and then that that little puppy's going to die. And it's because you didn't do your research breeding. Um, so when I'm saying inbreeding, I'm not talking about just go out and find a dog and find another dog that's related to it and put them together. You have to make sure when you're looking back through the pedigree that there's not a, too much of that blood in the pedigree and that that blood is not known uh, for causing flaws. And it's good too if you have say Mo Mungie and you're going to do a Mo Mungie inbreeding that you have some blood on the bottom side that complements any issues that that blood might have. So say if I'm going to breed too fat, or not too fat, if I'm going to breed Mo Mungie or Sweet Mungie, the breeding I did that made too fat, then I made sure that Sweet Mungie's mom was misfit. She's a mixture of um, Razor's Edge and Gaudy Blood, an outcross, and nothing in her pedigree matched up with Mo. So the first time I breed those two dogs, which, I mean, some of it did way on back because uh, they're both American bullies, but it's about as, as outcrossed as it could get for a breeding. I bred those two knowing that I was going to take the do a breeding, a puppy from that breeding back to Mo and create a more consistent look here. So it was really close on the Mo Mungie breeding, the Mo Mungie blood, but on the other blood, it was way, way out there, kept it clean, kept any flaws from happening. And every puppy in Two Fat litter made it. They're all alive. They're all healthy. None of them has any issues. Um, so that's just an example of what smart inbreeding can be. You know, you don't just throw two dogs together because they're related. And say, so I'm going to do a two times so-and-so breeding or a seven times Dax breeding. That will create a lot of issues, and that's why a lot of bullies are dying young today. If you are going to do a good inbreeding, you need to do your research on the whole pedigree. Make sure that the blood is safe to put together and make sure you got something in there to keep it clean too and you're not just clogging a bunch of stuff together that you don't even know is inbred. Like Mo Mungie's a Remy, Mo Mungie has Remy in him and he's got a lot of little row in him. So if I was gonna do a breeding with Mo Mungie back to one of his kids, I wanna make sure that that, that kid's mom doesn't have any little row or Remy in there. They have maybe some goggy line blood or some uh, edge blood that doesn't involve Remy Martin or a little row, just to keep it just to keep it safe and keep it clean. You can't get too carried away with it. You see dogs nowadays that are nine times Dax and ten times this. Well, you got either one or two things happening. One, it's just scatterbred and that dog's all over the back of the pedigree ten generations ago, and it doesn't really have much of, much Dax blood at all in it. Or um, they've just took and bred Dax to his dogger, brought a puppy from that back to Dax, brought a puppy from that back to Dax, and just clogged it all together and that's why you know they're not healthy so that's just my take on inbreeding um again be respectful in your comments about it um we we put a lot of research into this this is the first kind of dogs that we've ever bred and we researched dogs for two or three years before we started breeding before we ever done any inbreeding and uh we're really careful about it and if, if you watch any of our other videos you know that we take the health of our dogs 
more serious than anything else. We're not going to do a breeding just based on looks. It's for the health of the dog, the temperament of the dog, and the looks of the dog. We take everything into consideration. So thanks for watching, and uh, just get online and do some research on your pedigrees because that's the best thing you can do when you're breeding dogs is know what's behind these dogs that you're looking at. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more updates, and God bless. Like the video just because of Cody's shoe game there. I mean, that's good enough reason in and of itself. Yeah, they scoop poop up all the time. They take out the garbage 11s right there. <laughs>